Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones Lunatic Mode. I am Mecha, I am landing at Tazel, and landing with me is Raisins. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. I'm going to refrain from saying the Tazel joke that you told me earlier. It's barely um, a joke. So I'm just going to... Never speak of it again. Okay, yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> anyway, so we're going here, and we're actually redeploying our guys now, after undeploying them for Phantom Ship. True. So, which is a pretty... I, I think that was like a pretty reasonable move, right? They kept on dying, we kept on getting surrounded, so yeah. let's just deploy them. But that shouldn't happen here, right? Like, no. it's pretty easy to... Yeah, I mean, we're on a boat, control. and we're getting surrounded, yeah. but at a way more relaxed pace than the previous two hectic maps. I think this will be a good opportunity to catch our breath, land a little, if you will, and uh, train some of our units that have been neglected for a little bit. You know, we can feed as much XP to Tana as we want to. She's only level 12, after all. Uh, mm -hmm. We can give XP to Amelia, see what happens. Maybe she'll make up for the minus three speed she's on average. Uh, it's not gonna happen. We can last minute <laughs> feed. We can last minute feed loot a little bit, uh, even though she's quite good. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, just kind of do whatever we want for a bit, because most enemies on this map do not move initially. Uh, there's like a little bit of a, I want to say jump scare at the start, and then beyond that, we'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I mean, everyone who's played the game already knows, but we have two. I'm promoted here. There are two unpermitted units here we'll have to deal with, and that's Tana and Loot. Mm -hmm. So they're probably going to be uh, the bulk of our attention, at least as long as we don't need to like fight, fight ourselves out of jail. Yeah. Then we'll try and feed to them as much as possible. And there's a guiding ring on this map, right? So we have the item to promote Loot whenever we need to. We have a Elysian Whipping Convoy, right? Uh, Yeah, we do. We have the first one from all the way back in Chapter 8 still. Oh, wow. So we can do whatever we want with them. I'm gonna like I'm gonna initially take out the enemies that rush me as much as possible, and then from there we'll figure out just how much we'll bait. I'll try to like bait new enemies every turn generally to keep it interesting, because I think if mm -hmm. you just like slog through this map all the way through, it gets quite boring. But um, yeah, you can't just like sit yeah. still and you know enter and enter and enter yeah. and if you wish. But yeah, exactly. Uh, there's not there's not even like any brigands going for the villages up here. I thought they would really do that, but they didn't. So mm. what I did for this turn one is. Like, we could talk about the map all day, but I think we have plenty of enemy face time to do that. Um, I, ra I baited some enemies that are always going to move initially, and I just try to weaken slash one of KO them right here with some uh, anti-horse weapons. And then uh, I have a turn two idea where we can feed Tana like two kills. And uh, we'll see why we deal with the reinforcements, because there is a group of, I think, turn two reinforcements that come up right away that will make everything a bit more cramped. But you can see, like, this is the extent of the enemies that move. It's not a whole lot. What up, Breathe? Oh, there you go, yeah. Reeve is like, hey, would you like some more monsters after Phantom Ship? <laughs> monsters? Fiends. More of these fiends? These fiends. Right, so this is where things get a little more interesting, because these gargoyles are kind of infringing on my uh, my feeding time here, but none of them can reach Tana if she goes to this spot and kills this javelin, that, or kills this um, cavalier that we weakened for her. And she won't answer Shaman on any phase if she's the only one left in range, so I think we should try oh, that. That's pretty good. And out of here. Miss. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always. Every time. Honestly, I've been complaining about RNG screwage, but I think we should shout out, like, Mulder, uh, especially Mulder, is just, like, so good that it doesn't even matter <laughs> how bad the rest gets screwed. He's so strong. And, yeah, uh, I mean, it's like, you gotta identify someone in your army is going to end up doing well, yeah, right? Like, yeah, just exactly. probably mm -hmm. more likely than not, someone is above average. Yeah. And yeah, this Mulder's insane, so. Uh -huh. How are you dealing with these gargoyles, though? Yeah, um, I know Garcia gets, or Garcia, Garcia 2.0, does like gets doubled by the guys that are not weighed down by his, uh, by the Iron Lances. They're, like, quite strong, actually. They have 14 speed, or 14 speed, 15 strength sometimes. Like, what the oh heck? Uh, but this guy's a horse slayer, so Cal needs to get out of here, um... Franz and Amelia can't, get, can't stay here, but does like him like, be in range of one maybe? Uh, we can like actually have an idea. We can um, try to bait the horse slayer one towards loot, like this, and then we can get the other ones into Basla territory by putting him one left, like right here. And I think that's out of range of the shaman as well, so we just do that. And then there's, there's no way they're not they're gonna ignore loot in favor of Dazla, right? So just put him here yeah, with no. the iron and get you boys out of here. For a minute. Yeah, they should find loot a more attractive target, and that'll like the the gargoyles are really the thing that's kind of scary to me, right? It's yeah. Like, how do we? Because they're they they deny us territory. Yes. You know? Everyone else is just they arrive upon these like planks in the north, right? So I don't know, just deal with them on the planks. I don't know what to tell you, but the gargoyles are like, okay, these guys are actually like surrounding us. We need to do something about mm -hmm. it. 
I'm gonna like just Lamau do soul some of these guys. I think if I just hand axe this guy now, and the next turn he'll hit me again, and he's weak enough for someone else to kill. And this should also kill the Luna Shaman and weaken this guy, whatever he decides to do. Uh, we're not in range of these guys yet. Uh, the pirates don't move initially, as far as I can tell, so that should be easy enough. Yeah. I don't think I can get that kill with loot, but maybe we can get it with Amelia or something. Oh, no. Probably not. We shall Amelia. see. Amelia, oh no. I mean, uh -oh. like, we might as well be in position to try it. Yeah. yeah so. If nothing else, Molder could do it, Ephraim can do it. Like, there's gonna be someone. There's gotta be someone. And there comes some more fiends. Uh oh. Please don't do it, dude. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, I hope the horse that guy moves next. Oh, no. Otherwise, Dazla's quite toast, actually. Oh, yeah, no, this is actually. Just dodge one of them. What happens here? Oh, easy. Okay, Got there him. we go. Whew. I guess loot was also like sufficiently weakened with this because they get this guy cannot double Dazla, so. Yeah. <laughs> could, uh, could, could Earth Shred have been like wrecked by turn order? Or... Yeah. Because it kind of totally mentioned... could have. Like, I tried this and it worked, so, but I guess I didn't see that Dazla maybe dodged like one of the hits from this initial Gargoyle. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Well, like, he, he didn't need to dodge. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> what, what? Wait. This okay. entire combat was cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone missed. All right, yeah. They just showed up. They're actually quite good friends now. You know, they yeah. were fighting realists. They had a lot more in common than they thought. Okay, good. This this looks a little wasteful, but do so. I would like him to hit S rank axes at least, so I can I can justify it with that, right? Like, he's just training yeah, weapon I'm... ranks. <laughs> wasteful. Come on. Like, just... <laughs> We can buy weapons after this. We'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how much gold we have, but... We have quite a bit of gold, but actually, I think it's an interesting topic. Oh, come on. I would like to get some kills here. Um, I have plenty of gold because I sold the white gem, and there's, I think, an ocean seal I can still sell if everybody really want to, because Erica gets another one anyway. Don't you dare. <laughs> um, but I also think I might like to buy some promo items in the secret shop of Chapter 14 uh, oh, really? for Erica routes. I'm not sure exactly what they were again, because I think I have enough night crests. Uh, might be like one guiding ring, but then again, Natasha does need to promote all that soon. I'm trying to think what other promotion ex exist that I might want. I have hero. I'm gonna get a hero quest for Garrett because he comes with one, obviously. Dude, stop missing! Oh my god, this, this missing thing is actually getting quite frustrating. <laughs> it's so annoying. So <laughs> like... Okay, I think okay. I can still kill all these, but not with the way I wanted it to. Uh... It's gonna be. I mean, you can still do it. You'll be fine. Yeah, uh, we have you this have guy here who can. But... Oh, maybe Molder actually is way better. Yeah, Molder just wrecks this guy. Oh, holy crap, yeah. Molder that one. Uh, minus one monster, whichever one you want, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the lead target monster. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, maybe we get this with like Amelia or Franz. Or Tana. Is Tana died to Shaman now? No, right? There's no way. Nah, she's fine. Okay, so we can do like is Tana on this one after he's weakened by loot. If she misses, mm -hmm. we have a backup in uh, like a bunch of calves here. Yeah, we can do that. And then, like, maybe Dazla can go south, trade over. Nah, I think that, uh, yeah, that actually works fine. Yeah. I wonder if the yeah, it's moving Shaman would go for uh, Dazla. If he's well, like, can the next. Shaman even reach? Like, that's the question. What? Reach Dazla? No. Well, yeah, after he, like, goes south. Oh, he totally can. Okay. Um, you yeah, can, no, you, can, so... you can run away, I guess. We're going to kill the full health one with uh, Molder, right? So, and we have another healer anyway. We have Lara Shell. Yeah, so true. We can just, you know. Yeah, this is also a good opportunity for us to get Lara Shell to see rank stabs, like we discussed last episode. That's going to be massive as well. Yeah, like pretty huge for chapter 14, I think. All right, this guy, like, no HP. Amelia. Uh, your, your kill on the left got the, on the right got the knight, so I might as well go for this one, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, do let's just, do this. Let's do this one. Let's <laughs> just jab from the yeah. yonder, yeah. Okay, that's closer. We get like 30 million EXP, right? Okay, only like 60. All right, speed. But, Yay. <laughs> Yay! Ask and you shall receive. Uh, like, okay. I guess you did get your wish, so. Yeah. Okay, she does live the Shaman, technically, if he wasn't ranged. I thought it was interesting to check. Uh, I suppose mm -hmm. we just move back Dawson and heal him. Like, this guy can only hit... Oh, I guess I have to trade with her. Oh, actually... Hmm. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing it here. Just, it just... looks like, what happens when we don't counter the next turn? It's like... Nothing. Honestly, yeah, yeah, true. Nothing happens really. We could just not counter him, I guess, with Tana. Just walk up and kill him, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll just have Dasta move here. Um, maybe you need to, like, risk drop someone. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, now that Dussel missed that shot, I think it might just be time to just murder this guy. Oh, we can still do it, I guess. Just it'd be a weirder way. Uh, is it okay if Franz goes there? 
I guess we just get him out of there afterwards. He's fine. Ephraim can rescue Franz, right? No, he can't. Shoot. Oops. Or whatever. I'll do it anyway. You can't stop me. I will feed Should Franz on the kill. Keep killing guys over here, yeah. <laughs> How much further for S rank? Oh, he's there already. Never mind. I'm. Then I said nothing. Right. He's, he's well, literally just doing it because I'm lazy. I'll just admit it. <laughs> yeah, all of the stuff we're doing for weapon rank earlier just Got completely him. gone to waste. We can't even train like sword or lance rank meaningfully now, so. Not that it matters. Like, we have S rank axes, you know? Yeah. We can't really complain. Okay, I'm gonna get him out of there because I don't really trust his uh, ability to fight here that much. So, just get you out of here. Don't put him in range of the shaman, probably. I don't trust that either. Maybe. Annex. Stop the glitch. Can't go back. And there's no halberds here, right? Like, just a hand axe, iron axe. Yeah, all good. And then Dazzlar. He is very heavy, so he can help us drop bronze here. Okay, there we go. Finally. Alright, go ahead, attack Joshua. I don't care. Oh, no. Not Joshua. He's going to crit him with the Luna. Joshua is that, is that a Luna guy? I mean, no, it's a flux. Oh, okay. Then I am not worried. <clears throat> I was wondering I why he just was hitting things when he's because he has S rank lances or axes. Sorry, we got extra five percent hit. Actually, he wasn't hitting things. What are you talking about? <laughs> he didn't, didn't like, hit everything. We got ourselves into this mess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, got that guy. And there we go. Yeah. So, like, this is basically the second part of the chapter where. Or I guess it's still the first part of the chapter, really, but everyone's rushing us on the ramps here, right? Like, yes. everyone just attacks us. It's like a MOBA, yeah. These guys on the right boat. Yeah, no, the, the MOBA, that's true. We gotta go... I guess only left lane and right lane, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what MOBA has two lanes? I mean, the jungle's just harder to get into. Oh, that's true, yeah. Part. You have to... Do Dazla's locked there. He's the only one who looks like the mastery sport. Dazla right? and Don are only uh, junglers on the team, but they still call the wrong lanes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're still hogging all the EXP. Yeah. Oh no. We can do this if we're willing to rescue drop our outs. I think. Do we have to rescue drop her out? Can we just heal her and like take the couch? Well, the thing is, this uh, Merc has a. Oh, actually, that is that's the last. This is the last year guy, actually. Yeah, this guy. I don't really want Ooh, her to face okay, off yeah. both of those. I think. Fourteen. That's fair. And nine. Yeah, that's a kill. I guess. I guess we could heal her with our shell and then get our shell out instead. Oh, our shell's too far away. We have to use Molder, I guess. Hmm. That's fine too. I guess we could just jab and then we're in range. We can, like. Yeah. Because if we jab from the right and then trade over to, say, some lance, then we're totally fine. Ah, oh, but then we're not in range of both. Actually, no, if we do from the top, we are. If we do for, kill from top right. What? Do you want to be in range of both? And this guy's well? Yeah. Oh, but then we're in range of this guy, too. This, uh, uh, this probably 20 speed guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy smokes, yeah. They're, like, really fast. Okay. Um... I mean, we could trade our the Axe Reaver, but I kind of want to conserve that, because I use a lot of it in taking down Geb. <laughs> I don't have anything left. I don't remember where you can get I mean, these. The Axe Reaver is like, one way or another, we're facing like double weapon triangle disadvantage from some Yeah, 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 so. true, 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 true. Like, what's the, I think it's, what's the big point? Honestly, the better point might just be to leave just Dawes line range of the calf and just Reaver him, like reverse Reaver him, and then just, you can just be out of range of the, of the other guy, so just like do this, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. And have like just... a flunky calf, pick her up, and drop with Tazla. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Finally, right, she's so yes. good. She's so good. Huge. She's actually like speed. he's almost exactly on averages. I forgot if I factored in the the things for Naka. I need to carefully position my calf here. Uh, I guess I can drop her down after picking her up with Franz. So just like do this, and then Dazla. Yeah, that should work out. Uh, I guess I'll heal Dazla first. You never know with this guy. Uh, just use you. Yeah, no, very unreliable HP. This guy. Yeah. He's also like facing crit from everything in their mom, so. Well, I mean, if he dies, it's Daza that we lose, right? So. Yeah. We could actually take drop south here, like that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. And then. Do so still fine here. This might be a good turn to swallow with pure water and then heal him with the boulder as well. Heal him mm. with the boulder. How does he do with the pure water against these mages? That is he a has like. Relevant question, yeah. He's like oh, taking wow, zero okay, at that point, so that's pretty good. Zero. I think like we go maybe here to. Give more enemies the opportunity to range him, maybe, if you think. Well, actually, this is a fine spot for that too, but this gives us more units to use ourselves, I guess. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, if this is uh, in danger of, like, dying to melee enemies or dying to physical enemies, but probably not, right? I mean, come on. He took, like, how much damage from these guys? 23 is, like, 17 defense. He's fine. He'll be fine. All right now, we heal him. 
Maybe give him new uh, hand axe as well while we're here. So oh, true, yeah. We have access to convoy. Why not? Yeah. Ephraim's right here. Kind of running low, honestly. Good thing I bought a bunch. All right. Here you go. You don't need this anymore. Helia. I mean, if you run out of, like, hand axes exactly at the end of this chapter, right? Then that means you've managed your hand axe as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. Pick up the boulder with the only, two, only units who can. Take a drop. Happy landing. Uh, do we leave Ephraim exposed? There's some dudes here. I don't think that. I don't think it makes any sense. Oh, Luke needs some healing too. Uh, I'll just have her roll now. I really want Luke to like pick off Dussel's targets, but he's been hitting the wrong targets. We're fine yeah. now, right? Like this is this is fine, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the it's kind I'm... of unfortunate. Dussel's stealing all the last hits in right lane here, and yeah, like we're trying to actually feed Luke. Like seriously, <laughs> this is kind of becoming a bit of an issue. A little right? bit. Like it's okay. The rest of the chapter's still here, and like she's already level fifteen. Like she could promote right now and probably be perfectly viable. It's just some last minute training. I'm doing. Yeah, we're just here being like super greedy because we can, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it would probably make it easier to feed her if she was promoted because then she'd get at least plus one move, probably two, if I went Mage Knight. Mm -hmm. Okay, Doggo coming in. And yeah, this should be an easy last hit for someone, possibly loot. All right. I don't think they understand that there's a bottom lane in this, uh, in the, there's a side quest for them here. We could feed oh, some, this one here. We could feed them to Ephraim here, I guess, if we want to. I don't think Ephraim won round KOs because he's so strength strength screwed. Just like do this, for example. It's sending Ephraim south. Yeah, I guess I will like divert some people. It yeah. will get like this archer. Yeah, just the melts. archer for now. But there's a, yeah, just the archer, I guess. More clients are on their way though. All right, <laughs> normal Merc and next guy. How much attack do these spiders have? I know they're like usually pretty strong on yeah. like vanilla. 28, 28 man. 29. So not as strong as those in Tomb from Phantom Ship, but still like a chunk out of Dussel's health. Uh, yeah, this is why I pack this, lives, I guess. So. I guess I'll just nice. use this to get rid of this Merc. And then we'll probably chunk something. And okay, this is harder. How much speed does Joshua have? Okay, so the Gargoyle outspeeds our promoted Joshua. <laughs> Whoa. I think this is going to be Mulder's job in the end. Okay, he doesn't kill, yeah. but that's okay, that's okay. That's, there's nothing else that's here, okay, anyway. okay, because we just kill with someone else, right? So. Yeah, there's, there's got to be someone else that can do it. I think awesome. maybe awesome. that's what we say for Tana. Uh, is this guy here? Yeah. Uh, maybe this is just Dazla's kill now. Uh, just to open up the square, like that. Yeah, whatever weapon is most accurate that we have, yeah. right? Joshua probably take out Merc. Yeah, maybe he doubles that. Yeah, he does double that guy, that's good. And if, I guess if, he, if, he, if he doesn't crit, then Tana can probably take it. And if he does crit, you know, if he good, hmm. if he does, if he doesn't crit, then like I think we would maybe rather use like one of the calves or Kyle for it because, like, we we do want an accurate attack for this moth dude after Molter hits it, right? So true. I mean, they're also at risk of dying to this guy because Sambato. Well, we just jab, and we actually oh, need true. a square for Molter, remember? So yeah, true. I guess we do want that square for Molder. All right, we'll try this. Got him. Noise, and then the idea Much is that Tana has more accuracy with the Slim Lance, right? So we do this. I think so. I haven't actually like thought about it too mm -hmm. hard, but I figure Probably. she is the most accurate. Okay, I don't see a reason to. Actually, we can maybe use Kyle to bait that spider over. Let's try. I guess having this square open would be better. Let's try this. Got him. Thank God. Yeah, that guy was like way dodgier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I think Kyle doubles saw, the spider. Like, doubles yeah. his six yeah, speed. Yeah. That guy. Yeah, yeah easy. easy. All right, 23. That should weaken him enough for Tana. Come here, Spidey. Spidey. Did I ever ask you, do you kill spiders, or do you just, uh, like, throw them out of the window? Uh, I throw them out of the window unless they're in my shower. If they're in my shower, it's no mercy. <laughs> no mercy. No, that's like... I don't know. I'm, like, standing there naked, and there's a big spider. Like, ah! <laughs> Understandable. I think if I saw a spider in my shower while naked, and I know this is what everyone wants to know, I think I would still go to effort to keep him alive. Really? Just, just like, like walk into the house? I, don't I mean, know. how much more dangerous? I mean, I guess I don't have the same spiders here as you do, but you're not in Australia, right? So how bad can no. it really be? I know, I'm in like North Carolina. These guys are like pathetic, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. You Finally, know what? good Dussel. You know what? I'm actually considering doing, you know we got a Draco Shield this chapter, right? From, uh, no way. Oh. We can give it to Dussel well, to make him more tanky. Because I have a feeling that we're gonna rely on Dussel so heavily that he's gonna like get doubled by some enemies, and then we need we want the plus minus minus four damage taken, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Strength, like please. the, the Draco oh shield in this army is like, oh goodness. That's alright though. I mean, come on, we did get defense. He's like minus Actually, four on strength, on bro. Ephraim. It's like minus four on strength. He's only speed blessed because he has the stupid Draco Shield. 
Uh, no. Alright, right, Luda's not getting this kill either way. I guess we'll get the chip XP. It'll have to do, right? So. It'll do, mate. I was to say. Okay, I thought the I thought the archer didn't go south here to Ephraim. I'm like, what the heck? But no, that's the third archer. No, there are three of them. Oh, mm -hmm. Franz kill? Hey, melee, stunt double. Melee kill? <laughs> stunt double. <laughs> Did I ever show you there's uh in the last promise that the best farmer mom hack ever made? There is uh I think an error by the maker. He put two archers on the same square, so it, like if you kill oh, one, no. another one just immediately appears. <laughs> Yo, no speed, Did but that's they, like, okay. <laughs> Do they like both move on enemy phase? Like uh, if you get in range of the so. archer and like have two squares, and then there's two archers I, attacking I, you. I mean, I always kill the I always kill the one like immediately, so I don't remember if they both move, but probably, mm. possibly. That'd be funny. Should like not obviously not remove it, but just put a skill there. Be like this unit has like a hologram. Yeah. You know? The Takumi. What have you pressed on? Yeah, that one. What's it called again? The replica or something? Is that what it's called? Oh yeah, with the. Well, he has the replica in the back. I think it's like a mechanist skill. Everyone gets it, right? So. Oh, that's replicate. I know what you're thinking of, but I think Takumi skill has a different name. I forgot what it is. Oh, right. Isn't it like... Um, what's it called again? It, like, I think it activates his personal too, because his personal is like if you have... Oh, hold up. Um, if you have a guy at same or lower. Yeah. Or same or higher, yeah. You kill Amelia on one hit. Wait, Top hold four. on. Yeah, is Amelia in trouble here? No, I think she lives no, with right? like one HP. Just needs to like check the other guys real quick. Okay, she's fine. She needs to like not get hit by anything else. I can't like I can rescue her, but then I can't drop her this turn because I don't think Joshua can pick up Amelia. No, no, we have Franz, don't we? Yeah, we have Franz, but then no one can drop her, right? Oh, so, I, was, I mean, is Ephraim not like able to do anything about it? I mean, he can, he can just. Ephraim is fine. Oh, wait, can't he drop. can't pick up Amelia? No, oh, no. She's, she's too big with the Cav. I mean, wow, what I doubt heck? he could pick up like any version of Amelia other than like Super Recruit, but... Yeah, I guess she'll just like stay here and take an attack from the fighter. And yeah. don't get crit, right? So... Yeah. I think Amelia right. has too much luck to get crit. I think that job is like... Dazla's getting crit. Okay, does Dazla so double like... Oh, nice! This is some feeding frenzy right here. Yeah, huge for the... The final moving enemies of the map. And then after this, it's like pretty smooth sailing from here yeah. out, right? So, yeah, and from there we can just, you know, reckon. Oh god, they still they still keep coming those original weapons. I don't remember this map has having that many reinforcements, but they keep surprising me. I don't remember it having like any reinforcements at all. I thought it was just, you know, what you see is what you get, as I say, right? But I don't know. I guess I do have some, huh? Uh -huh. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, this is totally fine. Um, I think they will go actually... for loot if they have a chance. Maybe that's like good. Well, if we just go right, then actually we completely pin them down, yeah? Because we have a whole archer in front being blocked situation. Oh, true. I guess they'll go for Ephraim if given the chance. Because uh, I'm planning on putting Ephraim there instead of Amelia, if that wasn't clear. I'm just trying uh, to see hmm. 15 and 17. So they both have 16, so they do 10 each. So we can leave Dussel here and both archers will, I think, melt themselves on loot. Except only one of them gets doubled, so it'll be turn order thing. But like none of the other enemies can reach loot from here. Well, they both have a square, right? So, oh, true, only one of them gets doubled. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and whatever. Like, we've already established that 18. Two Soul can counter, and it's fine. Uh, the one that she doubles does get one run killed. So, yeah, we can just leave Dussel, Dussel here. And... Also, did loot only, like, get 3 EXP from that guy? Maybe it's a really low-level spider, and that's why, like, Dussel can double it and whatnot, but... Uh, that's, just a, no. that's just a spider thing, but I don't know. I didn't I didn't Hunter's Heart getting low XP. We'll have to pay attention to the next one, I guess. Uh, let's get some spider here. He's not in our shower, but I think I'm going to kill him anyway. Oh, no. Uh, well, technically, this is a possibility we can entertain, but, you know, Tanas right here, so sorry. Oh gosh, he takes so much damage. <laughs> I just looked at the no. number. 21 damage. 21? I mean, like, doesn't kill, you know? Mm -hmm. Just end afterwards for fun. The only hit point that matters is the last one, right? Yeah, yeah, come on. It's like those modern Fire Emblem games. The other ones do matter in the other Fire Emblem games, though, mm -hmm. right? Help you get to, like, Wrath and Vantage. Yeah, okay, just move away. I'll just javelin this guy, whatever. And then maybe the mouth dog will go for him as well. I think I welcome that idea as well. Or maybe we iron. Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna have to range this guy and put Joshua in position to help out in case things get hairy. This yeah, should we do want to be able right? to counter. And this is fine. We've earned ourselves like a lot of space here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We I hope set the... up like a little feeding machine. I think the archer. Here. I think the archer move will actually not work out because the spider's gonna move first and hit Dussel oh. and not die. Yeah, no, you're right. But that's still okay. a kill for loot, so am I really gonna complain here? Or is it? <laughs> or is it? <laughs> well, okay. Same thing. Not. Same thing. <laughs> Different idea. That's just fine. minus one spider on the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Juice was the same idea. I guess he's like there. There's like water just left and right. Maybe he thought he was like in the shower. Who knows? <laughs> so. There is a lot of water. You're right. I, I don't think I've ever seen these guys. I think uh, normally I'm like already killing the boss at this point. Oh, oh no! Oh, loot, please, please, loot, please. Uh, let's equip this one. Uh, I mean, I guess if he misses, whatever. All right, freed up the space. Yeah, Do we injure the guy who? Whom loot doesn't double, so like we definitely guarantee that. Or, with well, I guess we have still have the spider. Ugh. With whom do we double him though? Like with Amelia loot. here. With loot. But like right now. Yeah. No. Well. Okay. Not right now. But like on the enemy phase. But the oh. spiders here. I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, like. Okay. Just... <laughs> I was just confused about like which action you were thinking of having me take right now with an already grayed out loot, but now I understand the misconception. Yeah. Um, no. Trying to see if there's anything fancy I can do with this guy. I mean, gotta prioritize Amelia, right? She's funnier at this point, and slightly yeah, better, no. probably. <laughs> the sight's a little Slightly HP. better than Franz. Slightly. There's still, like, potential here, right? Don't you think? There's or... a vague idea of potential. Uh, this there's is no way the there's shaman. actually potential. Don't we want to be in range of the Shaman? There we go, just like that. Exactly. Break this Javelin. I uh, Someone asked, like, before, like, why did I not break that one-use Fire Tome on Luna a while ago? I think we ended up talking about it, but... I want to use it for like target prioritization sometimes for like funnies, but in this case I was like, "Fuck it, I'll get rid of the javelin if it's bothering you guys." Yeah, we haven't like it barely matters ever come up. Also, here's the thing, right? Okay, we're gonna use it for, for like target priority to bait an enemy towards whom, like loot. They're already attacking her anyway. <laughs> Probably, probably right? yes. So, <laughs> like, uh, uh, you know what? You guys can attack Amelia. She's fine, right? There's no way she gets doubled while holding that. No, get out of here. She get weighed down by javelin at all? She gets weighed down by two. She goes down to six. It's actually... Actually, I think she does get doubled with a javelin. Wait, seriously? Yeah, because they have 10 speed, and Amelia gets weighed down by two by javelins. So... Do they get weighed with the bow, or no? No, they have it's like an iron bow. bow, don't they? It's oh, an, iron bow. an iron bow. Okay, so to be fair, she doesn't die if she's at full HP, <laughs> but she is not. So, yeah, yeah don't give her a javelin, I guess. Right now. <laughs> we should uh, maybe save state once everything stops moving. Yeah, no, once we kind of dealt with the initial rush, even honestly right now is fine. Like, come on, like, what are these archers going to do? I mean, one more turn. So, I mean, give me one more yeah, turn. Yeah, one, one, one more turn. One more turn. Copium. All right, just wait it out. It'll be fine. We're going to be saying that next turn, too. Like, oh, one more turn, one more turn. Like, there's, exactly. there's a bone walker up there moving. You're like, ah, oh, someone's still going. <laughs> so I'm still going. I just want to save state when it's the start of my turn. Even though it makes me usually just redo, like, five actions. Okay. All right, Tana's on a mission now. It's kind of cute how she can just get kills on her own like this. Like she just one rounds shamans because of the freaking 19 speed. Yeah, she, like so oh, I said oh my 20, 19. I meant 20. Got him. All right, Tana's redeemed herself. Let's get it. With this, is this like you just promote her now? I mean, she's capped speed, so she's kind of like lost access to this growth, right? Yeah, she does. But at the same time, we could get more. Like, does this map really warrant promoting? Like, I, I get you're gonna say like, oh, you get to promote her, but like. I do, no, but I also actually, can keep her on promoted for a little bit because like, what are these enemies gonna do about it? No, I understand. Like, actually, your situation I think is even better. Like, what benchmark does it reach? Like, what new what new thing does it access? More strength. Right? I guess she has like one extra move, and that's like mildly convenient. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we need that to beat the mapper to continue earning exp on her. Like, mm -hmm. I think we just continue playing. Uh, you know what? I think this is this part of the map is easier. I'm gonna set Lara Shell there. I'm gonna send Molder. To this side. This, uh, this is where yeah, some we might need him for happening. like a. Yeah, we might need him for a guy. Yeah. Molder. I mean, it does mean we lose out on like heals for a turn, but yeah. whatever, we're fine. It's okay. There's other ways to heal. I've been told. Okay. All right. More speed than magic. This is not the loot I know, but it's the loot I'll have. Uh, maybe Duso actually does want some healing. Um, he can't go beyond here because shamans exist. Because we just take loot fall and then we're fine. Uh, the spider's gonna do like seven damage to him, right? Yeah, no, I mean, like, there's kind of a lot of guys here. Ten damage, archers, none. And Amelia dies to the next archer, so I'll just get this one with that frame. Sorry, Amelia. Yeah, we can't train you anymore. We just gotta with you anymore. The higher ups. Boom. This should probably make the archer. Well, I'll we'll probably go for F frame in this case over to, over her, but. What if we did this? We've been in this whole, like, we're trying to bait the archer, but a spider moves their first situation for, like, I don't know how many turns in a row now. <laughs> like. I'm just trying to be clever. 
Well, no, I like it. It is good. And here's the thing, right? Like, even though like when it doesn't work, he goes south to Ephraim anyway, which is what we want as well, right? Yeah. So like, what's the? There, there's no real like tragedy occurring, right? We just kind of let the archers do as they hey, will. Oh my look. goodness, Susel. Hey, actually, it did work this time. Yeah, yeah it did. Hold I on. mean, it would have been a kill for loot either way because the spider would have been hers, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kyle. I I would not be surprised at this point if Tana's offense exceeded Kyle's. I mean, yeah, she's been earning, like, how many strength speed level ups? All right, it's turn 10. I'm going to make a save here. Uh, before, I'm going to forget if I don't do it now. All right, so... You know, how much strength does Tana have? Yes. I got to check this. Oh, so my close. goodness. Oh, so one short. That's so fine, good. though. If only I hit that jab, though. Uh, I have to heal Tana. I guess I kind of want to heal Tana. And they're both, like... They're both at like survivably high HP, right? So, yeah, I guess if I'm not arranged the archer, then what I'm really afraid of, like an Elfire guy that's gonna one shot Franz, that's not happening. All right, so these guys here. have like the exact opposite of overlapping ranges, too. Yeah, like this mage, this archer, and the other mage. It's funny how FE8 is made like that sometimes. It's like, oh, you can bake yeah, these enemies yeah. one at a time, it's fine. <gasps> the Franz there redemption arc, it's happening, it's happening. It ha has been foretold. Holy moly, <laughs> it happens. What did he get? Everything but defense, basically. It's not going to redeem him, though, right? I mean, come on. He's still Franz in our hearts. Or still forward in our hearts. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, there's a chance. Sorry, this is just your lot in life. All right, I'm going to give him the jab so that the guy will attack Katana instead and do less damage. Uh, I think it's time to give him a proper healing. I wonder how loot does against these shamans. 20... I know it's what we're trying with his advantage and everything. 20... Like, I want to say, like, 15 damage. It's like 8 damage here? Oh, eight each. Yeah, so about 15. Yeah, this guy can't reach if I do that. Uh, Mulder can't reach right now, so I need to like move loot first. Do I want to get something done on this spider right now? I guess I can do this and then just go for close range. And then heal the guy, and then we're in range of both shamans, but that's okay, right? 19? Yeah, they can't kill loot. Okay. So. Well, just don't miss this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> really don't miss, because she would have gotten Oko if she didn't like oh, have goodness, 100 yeah. hit. I keep like, not checking the spider numbers. It's very stupid of me. I mean, like, do you really have to? What do you, what, what's going to happen? The spider parks vantage all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scares you. <laughs> totally. Uh, I guess I'll get some more guys from over here. And then those can be cleaned up by Amulia. Ball her. She's going to get O code right away. And then... Yeah, we do have like kind of a nice division of the units in the east and the west. So we're able to continue baiting out these units here. Yeah. Getting as many kills, last hits, as it were, on loot. Yeah, the, the absolute technical best slow play here would have been to not bait these pirates, of course, right? Because then there's even less to deal with. But come on, we can we can kill four unpromoted enemies in one turn, can we not? Yeah, we can deal with it. We should be fine. We have, like, Honestly, six like, hits here. The, ooh. Okay. <laughs> we didn't actually check whether he, like, lived. Yeah. But I'm like, mages aren't typically that fast, so... Yeah, and he had elf fire, right? He's never of. doubling anything. Oh, come on, yeah, get out of here. All right, the loot feeding grind is on. Watch him, he just has a fire, and that's how much damage he just does to Franz. No, yeah, I get out of was... here, okay. He drops it. Yeah, I mean, he was not doubling Franz, so even with fire. Oh, he had, yeah, he needed eight speed. Yeah, he is like one off, to be fair. All right, so this archer guy, we'll keep him from away from Tana, so we'll just kill this Hellfire guy. Um, wow, she's so strong. Get him, Tana. I was wondering, like, earlier, does she actually, like, literally have more strength than... Kyle right now or no? She has 13, Franz is 9, Kyle is 16. So Kyle still okay, has more, yeah. but Kyle is also slower by 8 points. Many points, yeah. <laughs> so honestly, this, this Kyle gets probably exceed. Kyle gets doubled by some of the guys that she doubles. So. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be or very specific someone. enemies for sure. Like, we, we talked about this before, right? Most of the enemies either are like gar gargoyles. Well, gargoyles are like that that speed that, that, that probably is relevant here. That The one that Tana doubles and Kyle gets doubled by. Maybe not gargoyles, but like mercenaries and the, the the dogs, they have like 19 to 20 speed at this point. So no one is ever doubling them. Even our speed wing F frame isn't. But then you have yeah, to all these like frame. slow even enemies. Like, yeah, you have to like, all, all these slow enemies with like 12, 11 ish speed that can just be doubled by, you know, just an unboosted Joshua. Uh, yeah, like the 7 AF shamans up here. Yeah, the, the real ones. What do you guys got? Iron Lance. They have so much strength. Look at that. They're like, holy crap! I think they're stronger than like whites on normal mode, basically. All 
Okay, they're, they're kind of strong, but they can't reach me if I attack from below. So I think Amelia can get a Shaman kill here. Pretty easy. All right, watch Still get another Amelia kill. Let's get another one. I mean, like, who else is getting them here, right? Oh, speed! Yeah. <laughs> speed! She keeps getting almost, speed. Almost speed double cab. digits, guys. Almost double digits. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, if, the, if the Christmas calves are the red and green, what's, like, the orange and green, I guess? That's what Franz has got. Like, the, it's not the Halloween calves, the Ferdinand and Lawrence, right? It's... So, what, what would Amelia and Franz be? I don't know, I always think there's like a there's like a space in the final archetypal universe for like the golden calf, you know, the Lowens and the Franzes. That's the way I see it. It's like there's like a third kind that sometimes pops up. Hmm. Of course, like archetypes are just bullshit in general, like I've said often. Uh, I mean, like they, they could be fun to think about. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. Like, it can be like coming up with them is a is a fun activity, but like insisting upon them is like, I don't know. Yeah, just don't make don't be weird about it, basically. I know. Alright, let's bait one shaman with mold in the boulder. He hasn't had anything to do with it. Enjoy this hobby together, as it were. Yeah. It's like when you're trying to be a smartass about it, that's when it gets annoying. It's like, no, mm -hmm. this person is not in the Franz archetype. They're actually the Lowen archetype. They're not a Jagan, they're an Oifi. What was that example that, I used in the video? That, that one always. Oh, the, wait, really? There was a, No, there was an example that was like, is Erica a Maladus? That was the one. That was my favorite. It's basically because okay. Erica acts as a tactician once, which makes her like Smeldus, I guess. So it's just like the say tactician at that point, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. France is so useful here for chipping. What a useful unit. Look, guys. Like, okay, at, at that point, it has gone too far. <laughs> has right? farm or typing gone too far? It, yeah, it has. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I respect the Jagan and the S and the Christmas Cavs, and that's about as far as I go. I'm yeah. Yeah. What do you I'll think? give them those. What about Goto? I'll give them those. Go, okay, fair enough. Like it, it, they're gonna name like another like three, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, those two. But that, that's yeah. kind of where it ends for me. It's like um, Christmas calves is already like interesting because you know this, it just goes by the color, right? It doesn't matter who has more strength and more speed or whatever. Yeah, like you know, I, I think there are enough exceptions to that where it's like, look, if I can't even tell you which one's supposed to be which, then like it probably it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean that's the case for all this, right? It just doesn't matter. Yeah. There's there's two of them and one's red and one's green. That's all that really matters, yeah. Latona rank. So, okay, there's those. I don't recognize the Oifi. That one's the dumbest one, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, Oifi is pretty silly. I do think it's fair to be like, because that's an archetype that has actual use in language. The way we talk about units is like, you'd want to feed, you want to like give kills to a Jagan more than you want to give them to. Okay, it's the other way. You'd like yeah, to like, there's like. A question of like long-term viability, like how much kills you should give to a unit there, that I think is mm -hmm. sort of interesting. That it has like it has some utility. The problem is again when you insist on it and become like annoying about it, like, and it becomes more, uh, I know a thing than like let me t let me help you or something like that. Yeah, no. Like it's, it's like... it sees as being helpful at some point, but it has some theoretical utility. The problem is you can't really agree universally on what's an oifi and what's not. Okay, I keep trying to find like thing ways for him not to kill. He kills everything anyway. Yeah, no. Steve I mean, it. my. My objection with that more so is that, like, Oifi himself, I don't really, like, actually think, like, he, he's such an odd example. Like, if anything, I'd use FE7 Marcus or something, because it's like, Oifi, I feel like, actually kind of falls off harder than the other Jagans. I guess other than the fact that he's in, like, an easy game. You know? I don't know like, if I if agree with that. For... Like, Oifi is, like, on one of the best combat units in the game, I feel like. It's just the game doesn't demand combat units like him very much. But nah, that's fair. I mean, he's, he's pretty good long term. He just needs a good weapon, but that goes for everyone. I think uh, the best example, I think, is Titania and Seth, personally. I mean, Titania, oh, yeah. especially. Hmm. The Seth, where, like, they just keep growing anyway. Like Yeah, they're just, they're just good. <laughs> they're just good. They're, they're so good that even game facts from 2019 don't, don't mind using him. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, so can well, we, like... 2019, I think they knew better. Okay, what's, what's up with this guy? Enough arguing about... Yeah, that, right? well, do so... I just, like, throw an Iron Sword on him? Does that let him not kill? Is that enough? Iron Sword is, like, no, five might, enough. right? It's still too strong. No, oh, actually, this guy? minus three, no. minus four. Minus it's... four, 18 times two. Oh, he lives at exactly one, that guy, because we use weapon triangle as well. Yeah, but minus four is, be... Iron Sword is like five might, right? So it's minus oh, three. Oh, dang it. Oh, you're right. Nah. Uh, maybe maybe totally... Ephraim, because Ephraim is strength screwed, so he can do it. <laughs> yeah, no. Can you get Ephraim? We found Ephraim's like three guys. job, right? Yeah. Okay, like... there we go. Perfect. I mean, this is a range of two, but that's still like good enough for me. Come on, Ephraim's not going to die. It's not be gonna, so dramatic. It's not gonna die. I just wanted to weaken them all for Amelia and friends, but I guess we don't need them all weakened the same amount. Let me grab my loot. Amelia and Franz for loot, right? Like, come on. Yeah. 
She's the real one. Heal. I can probably stop we... healing everything with Molar, but it would be funny if like he's like the most overleveled unit we have at the end. Yeah, I mean it's like La Laura Shell is relatively close to her C rank staffs, I'm pretty sure, right? Like Uh she's gotta be. She's probably more than halfway. Yeah, about probably still some work the... to do, but we have next chapter as well to do it, so it's not a big deal if she doesn't reach right. it right now. We can visit the inn for some lore, right? So... Oh lore? You want lore? Alright, I'll get some lore with Tana. That's what happens at the inn, that's all that happens. Uh, I wonder if the dancer will ever come this way again. Don't know why, but her she... dances really pep me up. Even after our day's hard work, I felt as fresh as if I'd just woken up. It sure would be nice if she would dance for me again someday. It's not gonna happen, she's an Erica root, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> We've patched her out. So you can patch yeah. it. There are some changes to this map that I think are really interesting to show off when we get there. I definitely need to show that house off, because it's normally where you get you in, but you is not on the routes. And uh, there's also something with Marissa, of course, who's also not here. Oh, but really? Okay. You can still see that there's something resembling Marissa on there. Do you just attack Dussel over Ephraim? What's Wait, wrong with you? What? Does, do you just not want loot to be strong? Is that it? Because I understand that, but just tell me at that like, point. Did he have an Iron Axe out for a weapon triangle, maybe? Dussel yeah. Or no? I, I think oh, okay. we, we already knew that Dussel was kind of close defensively to Ephraim, right? So maybe that was it. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, that might be it. He might have seen more it, it always another seems weird one. that they like... Oh, here we go. Oh, another one. Another one. She did get strength speed there, right? Yeah. Technically, yeah. we gotta imagine the RNs. <laughs> It always seemed weird that the AI like took weapon triangle into consideration because like they already take damage and accuracy into consideration, right? So like, why? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. It seems uh, kind of weird. What's going on here? All right. Well, I guess we can get Tana poisoned, and if she does get like toxic damage, it's more XP for Lara Shell. That's right. Huge rank. Oh Dodged. come on, not happening. Dodged. We just enter to the arena though. This one happens. <laughs> yeah. No, <I'm> <laughs> no worries. I mean, I already used my safe state. I'm afraid. All right. Yeah. No. All right. Watch this. Take this! This please don't hurt me! What's going on? I'm gonna the Draco Shield. Ah, okay. <laughs> New village combo. Because normally, uh, Yuan comes with the Draco Shield. So this is a way for you like, to have the Draco Shield without having to give you Yuan, basically. Is the idea, anyway. That makes sense. Well, what about the Marissa replacement? She, Because she's not on this route, right? She's over she with She totally Garrett. is. Look, she's right here. What? No way. All right, do, we actually do, do, I, do I just show her? All right, let's let's her off. There you go. Your, your right. cursor is uh, I'm, I'm annoyingly. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not actually Marissa. This is what? a generic replacement. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there are no messages from him from Lord Nerd. There are no messages. No, this, the gatekeeper has nothing to report about him. Oh no. Uh, yeah. This um, you've played Shadow Dragon, right? You've seen the replacement units. Oh, yeah, the Wimp and Loser. Yeah, Wimp and Loser, the favorites, the best ones. So, uh, that's Marissa's replacement. It's uh, Wimp. All right, I think if we shoot for, like, level 17 loot and then just get the Guiding Ring from the Shaman, I think we're good to go for promotion. Yeah, no, we're, we're practically right there, right? So, just, we continue this little training arc. Yes, almost there. Let me just check the ranges. No killer ball. <laughs> <laughs> right there in my face, a killer ball. And no a killing edge, very cool game. And a killing edge, cool. okay, wow. Just they put the strongest weapons on, like, enemies that just don't move. <laughs> they're just, like, lurking in the corners. Yeah. They do what they're doing. They're just trolling you. Okay, let me bait them both with uh, the man who doesn't take damage, regardless of whether it's tripled or not. Give me a jav. Mm -hmm. Give me a fresh jav. Come here. And we heal someone. Sure. And it turns out we just didn't check the might either. I mean, I didn't check the might because it's too <laughs> I like, I like the killing edge is definitely doing zero, right? Well, okay, well, that was actually more than I thought. That would have been like. Doesn't double? What? <laughs> we ate that. <laughs> He's so strong. He did get like speed at one point, I think. I want to say his base. No, his base speed is 12. He didn't get speed yet. We he got speed like several attempts of the Phantom Ship, but never the finishing one, unfortunately. I think he still have bases mm. in those stats. Uh, it's actually going to be kind of hard to feat that one, I think. Oh, no, actually not. It's like Hardly an inconvenience. Actually. All right, there we go. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. It's just literally right oh, there. Oh, okay. she's so good. She's so good. Let's go. This Luke. training arc has been profitable, I got to say. Yeah, this has been some of the best level ups in the series so far. Oh, my God, Amelia, why? Are Amelia, you like why? I can't doing? throw a jab at that guy. Like, that's not, that's not good. It's not how it works. I can steal lands if I throw one from the convoy, and if it doesn't work. Oh, we I'm... can uh, we can attack with. Oh no, we can't even do that. Do we have like a one use? Oh, we have the one use fire. No, Ephraim Slim can maybe do it. 
Uh, just like Amelia Steel Lance should do it. Because like, oh, true. If Ephraim Slims, not like how's Amelia? I guess we can rescue drop Ephraim out. Because like, if Ephraim Slims, he just kills right. Like, there's no way. He oh survives. yeah, it's it's too much. I think uh, Amelia Steel will be our favorite way to do this. Uh, give me this. Not steel that Steel Lance, is good, right. but like, never put your faith in a Steel Lance. But in this case, I think we can afford to oh, try. Boy. Oh, I got him. Let's go, Amelia. Easy win. Worth the XP. Another 60 experience for Amelia. Oh, for yes. Double-digit speed. speed. She's totally ready for this for this gauntlet. Is that right. faster than Franz or no? Um, So she has 10 right now. And Franz has 10. So, you know, they're, they're, it's a close race between these well, two. Tied. <laughs> Anything right. can happen. Okay, so the middle one has Luna. Which technically hurts Mulder. But the other ones do, like, what? Like, it's 9 damage each? Well, Luna, like, kind of crits Mulder, actually. Well... I, like, we know Deuce will live that, right? A 68. I think it has, like, 10 hit on Mulder. Mm -hmm. And they're here in a straight line, so, you know... Well, yeah, we can just straight line stats them, I guess. And just get the get the first guy out of here, I guess. I mean, that's... I'll just get the first one out. And then we can get the Luna one with Deuce. I mean, Deuce will have to be healed first, actually. Yeah, I mean, we can do that, so it'll be easy. Uh, because Luna is how much attack? 12, so 36. Yeah, he doesn't live if he uses a Fallen. I'm not using Elixir for that stuff, so screw this. Um, there's like nothing to do here for La Rochelle. I guess we can heal Kyle and bait like the Archer for Tana to kill, and then we just rescue drop her out. Just start peeling this formation apart a little bit. Watch out for just the Shadows. Dive on Wimp, who knows? Yeah, um, actually, because we can just do it over the wall. Yeah, yeah, the Archer exactly. moves. And then if we fail to kill, we just rescue drop. So it's like the same thing no matter what. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I didn't give him the force there, good. Go here. A little closer. Just lurking up here. I like the end, the edge of enemy ranges. Yeah, like. I wanted to be a bit more offensive here, but... Safe state is quite a while ago, and it's just going by quite fast. Oh, good job, Kyle. You actually showed off your strength there. I mean, oh, nice. it wasn't what, what I wanted you to do, but you know what? It works. Can't complain there. Yeah, I don't really know how like close Tana is this next level. I, it, next chapter, we probably really ought to promote. Yeah. Like, at that point, I think it just makes total sense to yeah. just do it. Right? Maybe, we, it over with. maybe we don't mass feed her. Uh, the thing we can do in this area is like we can Bunga in there with like a strong unit like Dusel because we don't have to worry about killing Marissa by accident. Cause oh, yeah. Wimp is... Uh, well, Wimp. How bad would this be? Oh, my Quite goodness. Bad. She almost one-shots. Yeah. <laughs> Needs another level. She probably doubles with the Slim, too, because, yeah, Wimp only has 15 speed, so we just like double the Slim. Kill the wimp. Wow, just one <laughs> round wimp. Unfortunately, everyone else kind of like wrecks us, though. Yeah, we can't really just do yeah. that. So, uh, okay, so if we were willing to just take like just the just this one fighter and wimp, we can put Kyle there, I guess. Uh, I don't know how wimp does against Kyle. Wimp doesn't double Kyle. Wimp also does like ten damage to Kyle max, probably. I by ten I mean zero. Yeah, Kyle mm -hmm. can live all this uh, all this stuff. So I'll just like heal him. Oh, Halbert shenanigans, right? Oh, there's an Entombed I gotta watch out for. These guys, uh, they do not mess oh, around. Oh, Oh, yeah, no. They have 19 luck, too. How does that even happen? I don't know. I thought have, their like, luck wasn't that high, record. but I guess it maybe it was a good stat in vanilla for them, but then they just... The, the stats they chose were HP, strength, and luck, right? Yeah. And everything else is, like, nothing. Um, an odd spread, for sure, but yeah. I guess we'll take okay, it. How about we go here, and then heal to get the other one? And then we'll get there this we guy on the wall with... Easy loot kill. Amelia? I mean, no, we could do Amelia, loot, but right. loot is ready to promote, so... Yeah, loot's just... This EXP would literally be wasted. I mean, we're probably wasting it right now, but isn't this fun? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a bit more... Does she do it? Isn't oh, it fun no. to watch Amelia become 4-3? She won't overtake uh, friends. Are you not so. entertained? <laughs> I don't have another guy in ring, do I? Pretty sure I don't. I do not. I Turns out like, I had one the whole time. Yeah, no, get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, it would've been nice if I did have it. Alright, bring a shamans. Oh my god, so easy. How does he do it? How does he do it? How does he one round the shaman on the counter? Yes! With the guiding ring. To the convoy. It goes. <laughs> Just like yeets it over to Ephraim, <laughs> yeah. misses, it falls in the water. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Time to call maintenance. Curse these old eyes. Yeah. Are you guys really just still getting wrecked by freaking Dussel? By Dussel, yeah. Probably. How much speed? Seven. Yeah, Dusel destroys like all these guys. Yeah. Oh. It's Tana. 
I guess Tana can come in there and do that, I guess. Whoa, Amelia doubles? No way. Yeah, like, the one guy in the world that she doubles. Okay, so bait with Ephraim, I guess. Uh, yeah, just we do that. We witnessed a new moment in history. Supply! Guiding ring! Loot. Easy take. All right, what we do, and we discussed this, so it's Mage Knight, obviously, right? Yeah, I think it's got to be Mage Knight. I like having extra amount of flunkies. I think having a mounted healer will also be just be nice. Uh, there's not enough advantage to me to using the Sage mm -hmm. with the Mage Knight because like Sage gets what like light magic and same staff rank, right? It yeah, it does. It, it gets light magic. It has the. I, I think like when we were going over loot, I like raved on and on about the Sage higher magic cap, but I really don't think that matters like ever mm -hmm. in this kind of run. Like yeah. just maybe if we wait until level 16. twenty, then maybe she will ever hit it. Oh, she even gets the Canto. Damn. Nice. Oh wow, I forgot you can do that in the V8. Trivia. I know for a fact you can't do that in FE7. Yeah. Okay, so if we go on that stairway, we might bait an extra enemy. You can drop... F yeah, you can drop F. Let's go. Take. Uh, something I neglected to mention in this chapter is that it could have been a pretty good opportunity to build supports, but there wasn't really that many times I wanted to do it while also just making poor progress, so... I know that some other yeah. people who have been playing, including Blamaster, like, use supports to their advantage, and I really encourage that because it seems like a really good idea. But uh, yeah, I didn't no. yet. I might pay for it too. It supports give you like just so many stats in GBA. It's actually like quite tremendous quite how busted. much you're able to get. Wow. All right, wait, did he just. Yeah, he just one rounds them. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, I guess. <laughs> Should be. I mean, I guess we could. Yeah. Like, I don't really see. I mean, he doesn't one round win, right? So. Yeah. Seems fine We're to me. We're feeding here. It's not Franz, I don't think. So. Yeah. Don't. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Wimp. See ya. Oh, this guy's here too. I think Tana can kill that guy now. Yeah, it's actually totally fine. Actually, how much speed did Mercs have? 15, 16? Uh, I can't mm -hmm. remember. But, I mean, Tana just doubles anyway, right? Because she has mm -hmm. 20, so... Tana moments. What do they have, 17? No way, get out of here. It's never happening. Oh. So close to getting that RC. It's pointless, because we know we're going to venture at some point, but it's so funny. We should keep doing it. Uh, what if Amelia enemy phases this enemy? <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on rolling the the casino. Right? Exactly. I mean, what if she gets a level up with three in every stat? Then you would want to use her, right? With three? What if she gets an FE6 promotion? Yeah. Bigger than, actually. He also supports uh, Dusel. You know, we could we could really incorporate her in a team. There we go. This strat that we just talked about. Uh, yo, do we just start working we could, on actually, her yeah. staff rank? On hers? It's like, a D is actually pretty good, yeah. Or, well, C, C rather. C is, like, important. You told me it was important, so we should probably work on it. Yeah, we should probably get towards there. I mean, like... It'll take a while, but... Yeah, having much more people. I mean, we can do that. We can use mend, even, if we want. If we, yeah. like, really want to accelerate this. Yeah, this is, like, my only mend I get. Actually, we get to buy mend here, I think, so that should be yeah, easy we enough. Just, we can just buy some, totally. Okay, uh, this spot is safe, I'm pretty sure. We can cover it anyway. Oh, easy, easy, dude. Easy, she's so easy good now. Easy kill. Look at that, man. So good. I think, oh, we can feed her to Centum. as like her last level. There we go. Yeah, can she not actually get the Entombed and the Cyclops? Uh, potentially, yeah. I mean, we're, we don't want him to equip, equip the Sword Slayer, so we'll have to deal with the Weapon Triangle, but other than that, oh, it should sure. be fine. Uh, but we just, like, attack and then continuously take drop. It's not like he has a throne, right? Like, yeah. what's he gonna do about it? I mean, if he did have a throne, we could do the exact same thing. It just takes longer. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Kyle, who made you so good? Okay, this this yeah, works, I guess. Yeah, Kyle's suddenly like really strong now. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Uh, if you give him the jab, he cannot suffer from success because he cannot kill all three enemies. So if he just sits in the square east of Tana, he can do it. Uh, I was thinking down of Tana to cut. Well, actually, if she gets attacked by a guy, I don't really care. Not really, right? Um, I was trying to see if he can die to two axe fighters because this gun has a seventeen. 16. 17, 16. So, like, if, if all three guys hit him, then he's like, yeah, I guess we can just throw him to forest and then everyone's totally safe. 17, 16, that's like 31. And then what? How much health does he have again? It's uh, 36. Oof. But, like, How if he's in a forest, the like, deal? I guess we could just give him the. Or actually, does Front survive a hit? Because then we can use him to bait one out. 29. Yeah, he can bait one. How much does um, the Bonewalker deal to Kyle, though? The Bonewalker is uh, 23. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, holy crap. 10 um, damage. But like, you can't. All three can't reach him, right? If we throw him here. Oh yeah, we, we've established he doesn't kill. So. Yeah, I mean he could crit, I guess. But I also think of putting Franz like here, but whatever. He'll just go for Tana anyway. It's fine. Yeah, like just 
What's the point? Oh, wait, they want them to go to. Oh, they can't walk past here. Never mind. They can't go here. All right, come here. Healers. Yeah, like we want them to go for Tana. That's the point, right? Yeah. So kind of, kind of. All right. Uh, don't die, friends. Because we don't want to lose all these like good level ups. <laughs> yeah. No. Just all right. Just don't RNG screw it up. perfect. Do yeah, everything. Don't this screw is why, like. You know, you ever get into a habit of just like not burning our ends with all your actions or no? <laughs> all right, let's get it, Amelia. Yeah, nice, Amelia on the enemy phase kill. She was aided by Ephraim, but let's not Ooh, let that strength. cloud this victory. Almost nine strength, double digits. That's strength. identical to Franz. Damn, isn't it? Nine ten. Dude, we really make fort free here. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> we have another fort. Let's go. Okay, so obviously Franz has to get one of these three kills. I don't make the rules. I didn't I didn't miss these hits. Yeah, obviously, right? It just goes without saying. Uh actually Tana kinda needs to get all three to get a level up, I think. All three of these uh nuts. Like little guys and then the entombed and then the cyclops to get a some of that. I mean we could also just not do it, but um I mean the Cyclops is like a three. lot of EXP and also a lot of rounds of combat, right? Mm -hmm. Like she's not gonna do it all in one go. Okay, so if she gets hit, I gotta heal her, which I can't really do right now. I mean, just kill the Bone Walker and then... Oh, wait, no. Hmm. I guess Javelin the Bone Walker and then trade. Easy. Yeah, that makes sense. We gotta, like, walk in front of Franz to do it so that he doesn't attack Franz. Yeah, I agree. He'll, but, like, we get, get a free force out of it, but whatever. It, so. Yeah, we get to. Uh, let's get a sword. There you go. This is not bait at all, trust me. Alright, you ready? And yeah, we can feed Tana the Bone Walker. If we would just make her like the most invincible unit ever, then sure. Yeah, no, huge Tana carry. Massive. Uh, more I heroes. mean, like, as far as like carry units go, Tana's a pretty good one, right? So. Yeah, especially once she's promoted, she'll be like. For the desert, I think it'll be massive to have an actually good flyer. Although, it's been a while since we've seen Vanessa. She's also pretty good. I'm, I'm doing her disservice by describing her like this. Yeah, no. Actually, I honestly can't remember Vanessa's stats. Like. Which probably means that they were pretty mid, but that's still really good by Vanessa standards, right? I think they were about average, if not a slightly above average. How much attack do you have? 32? Okay, Tana lives that. So if Tana chips and then kills, that's like a little bit over a level for her. That should she be can, enough. Like, enemy phase, player phase, right? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we go here, Iron Lance. I think that's like four shots probably. So with our shells help, she should be able to safely do it. That's right. And yeah, Lara Shell and Loot, I guess, are just on their way to each T rank stabs. Yeah, that's like all they can do right now is uh, five here. Uh, Ephraim, I think, is still injured. Yep. Give me that. Yeah, Narsha has not enough to do, but there's also a next chapter. And after that is when we really want to hit uh, the sea stats. But I think she'll get oh, there with a couple more chapters. Right there. Yeah, she's right like, there. Literally. Just a couple men's away. We can, I think we can buy men's here. Mm hmm. Yeah, one th other thing I would like to buy is there have been enough times where. Whew, okay, never mind. We already did this math. We're totally fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, okay, we're good. There there have been enough times where like loot or molder have just been like one short. I kinda also get like a single shine and a single like thunder or elfire as well. True. Like just to have that option on them in case we need it. Very valid point there. Nice. Alright, I think we'll get close to sixty, but not there because we can't get over hundred XP. Yeah, no, it's it's always capped at hundred in GBA. <laughs> so we just chip the boss until we get to uh, the next level? I guess so. That one's pretty bad, but I mean, we were earning it anyway, right? So. Yeah, 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 no, we we earned this bad level up. We we have the social credit. Uh, whatever, just use mend. It's fine. Yeah, we want that sword slayer drop. He drops this over weapon he doesn't have equipped, yeah. so we do have to kind of like make sure that we get this correct, right? So, oh goodness, is not a lot. Boom, we we'll got him. Up, right. All right, just do one more dose and we'll feed the killer. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, ooh, get out of here. Feed the kill to hmm, I don't know, Mulder? Lumstella. Lumstella, what? What about Lumstella? I don't know, I thought you said Lumstella. This might be like a Discord thing though. Hmm, possibly. Anyway, I think there's probably a combination of these 20 units that can, we can disguise. Your point where we can Some, go. Somebody's gotta be able to do it, right? Like, mm -hmm. We're already here, we might as well finish in his style, but never give him a chance to attack us on player phase, because he'll always, almost, almost always switch to the Sword Slayer. He still does more damage with the Sword Slayer and the Hanex to, like, you, if, if you have a... Nice to quit. A triangle thing, yeah, depending on, like, what's going on. And also, whether our unit is ending up low on HP or not can also make a difference, I believe. Because mm. that 
they like to put units at like low HP when they attack. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they do like prioritize. I think getting the below twenty is something that they have like plus priority for. While wow, these two levels were like crap. <laughs> yeah, they sure whatever. were. It's okay. The next one will be good. Copium. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's not like a more modern Fire Emblem game, I guess, where you just always earn the levels and like everything you get, like, makes your next levels harder to earn, right? <laughs> like, it's not like three houses. <laughs> Oh wow, who it's kinda of gross. What the hell? Oh Josh needs to like not weigh himself down. Wait, how much defense does this guy have actually? Y yes. Because I know they have like bulky. Golly. 16. And like the mages are too slow to double him, so like everything just kinda of bounces off this guy. Oh jeez. Wow, Dazla just gets like destroyed. Remember when Dazla was like good against enemies? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, uh, no. It's time for like do so with a sword or something. Do so with silver sword? Ah, that's not worth. That can't be worth. That can't be the answer. We mentioned earlier to like literally never let this guy attack us, but he can actually attack us with the hand axe just fine, right? Like, oh true, we can do that if we want. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, I don't want to throw a javelin at this guy. I guess I can like do so hand axe him a couple times. We could like attack him with a uh, what's it called? Oh, nice wave animations. We could attack him with like uh, what is it? Josh. Boot, and then just heal with Ta or not heal with Tana. Heal with the uh, the other woman, Lara Shell. That's her name. <laughs> true. I think uh, something like this is worth going for, except it's so little damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I guess loot and heal with our shells totally fine. As long as we don't face crit, I'm totally okay with it. Plus, we all gotta show off our animation, right? Good That's old. true. Pling from the Mage Knights, always fun. Wow. Please, please. this is not the first Great. impression you want to make. <laughs> okay, we gotta make sure we heal her above 20. Look at that. Two cute Mage Girls healing each other. That's right. Barely there. The mage Horses. <laughs> Barely got there. All right, I don't think anyone else... Well, I guess we can do Joshua for free. It's going to get rescue dropped out anyway. Yeah, no. Just... Yeah! Cool sword master for it. <laughs> Six Huge damage. damage. Do it again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait, only 18 crit? Golly. Yeah, this guy is, uh, has is a like luck stat, Bondo apparently. Luck. Yeah. It's five, five luck. I guess Joshua well, does, doesn't have that much skill. This may be exaggerating when I said Mondo luck, all right? Like, <laughs> come on, guys. Get out of here. Mondo luck. Okay, so he's probably gonna go for loot. Turns out he switches to the tomahawk and yeah, just suddenly <laughs> pulls out stronger weapon, kills loot, buy all your. Well, I guess we can redo some title levels. The last ones. You can always get better level ups, guys. Just try again, Copium. Okay, at this point, I think we ought to be able to, to you know, get it. Depending on things. Because, like, Did how much. Repeat? Did he really not double with steel? Yeah, he doesn't double with steel. It's very funny. No way. I wonder how much Tana does with Axe Reaver. Because I wanted to just expend one use for it. Because uh, Iron Lance already does four. So the Axe Reaver, you could imagine, does like eight. It's probably just like nine or ten, yeah. It's, actually it's, just like... it's plus three from Weapon Triangle alone, right? Yeah, true. Well, it depends on like how many people hit him, too. I guess mm. uh, we'll give another men to go. And then we'll heal with Mulder after it loses attacks again, I guess. Throwing a Molder hit, yeah. Yeah. Molder. I don't want to attack with Molder because he can get crit. His face is 3 crit. So we gotta use him to heal Lubinson, I think. Mm -hmm. And still leave enough rescue job actions for Josh to get out in case we do end up failing. But I think we have enough actions to do it now. Because now we gotta do, like, I don't know, 10 damage from here. In order for what the Axe Reaver dive to, like, work reckon, out? Or... Yeah. We can, like, check by just doing this. Uh, we could also just, like, frankly, be boring and, like, you know, rescue out Joshua. If people... Yeah. Maybe there's an audience on your YouTube channel who just, like, see the optimal plays all the time, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 10 damage is all Oh, 10. So oh, 9 yeah, is yeah. enough. So if Duso can just hit for... It's really 10 damage. We're good. Uh, there you go. Just walks up and crits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want that. Uh, what I could do is trade him a sword, but I don't know who has one available for him. I guess Joshua's steel sword could work. So I guess so, yeah. We can grab Joshua in advance. Just leave Kyle here with the steel sword equipped. Like this. And then we can take a steel sword and attack with it. I didn't overlook anything yeah, super much better, here, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, I was trying to think if anything could go wrong in this plan. I don't, I don't think anything can. Well, I mean, we do have to kill this turn because otherwise he's going to store Slayer Dussel. But other than that, I think we're totally fine here. We have like 100 hit with Tana, so yeah, yeah. we should be fine. It should be fine. I guess like 
Tana might not get a level up. No, she totally will. She has like 70 something EXP. Yeah, but right? the map ends oh, either way. Um... <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. Do the dive bomb, Tana. Here goes nothing. What are we getting? Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, oh that's exactly so satisfying. 100. Yes. Happy seal meme. Yes. Okay, oh, beautiful. Yes. Oh, okay, perfect, this, is, this is our best unit now. Sorry, Dusel. I guess, like, all of our other level ups, you know, they're like, oh, this is so trash. Like, she had her cap speed, so, like, how, how good were her levels going to be, really, right? <laughs> True. They're, they were better than expected overall. Mm hmm. All right, you routed the map. We got everything. We killed Wimp. Uh, we lost. We lost Mer, but we never had her in the first place. So we'll get her back later, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Mer just like runs off and gets captured by Selena, right? Like... <laughs> she didn't leave. I have a weapon equipped, so she was free capture. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Um, so much for our landing at Tizel. Next time we're gonna get Mer back from Selena, uh, run an entire map, and we'll do it without Garrick or Tethys because they don't show up here. So. I don't know how we're going to tackle that, but I know with our combined power reasons, we will get through it. It'll be pretty good, yeah. All right. We'll see you all next time. See you next time.